Okay, so I'm going to take this brown and this Prussian blue. I'm first going to try this brown and just see if I can get this little part darker. Because the brown and the blue together make a good a good dark to start with. I'm not going to use my 007 Sennelier. I really want to. <laughs> because it's so easy. So we'll try it with this. So I take the brown and put it on top. Because I want this to be darker. There's a little bit of dark there. Okay. So we just gotta build up these darks here a little. And I could use black. I could use black. But um yeah, it's too it's really strong and to have to really probably put something over it, but I want to try it with just this brown and blue together. All right, now we take the thalo, or not the thalo, the Prussian blue on top of the brown. Okay, and we can get darker there. Okay, this needs to be right now, this needs to be the darkest part of the painting. This will be a bush here, I'm just kind of creating the foliage for it. It comes up right here. There's like a tree, a bunch of stuff right here. I'm kind of creating the shadow of it. And then it keeps going. Taking that blue and putting it right on top of that brown. And that is sh now going to read as my darkest dark. It should anyways. And I guess if I need to go darker, I can put a black on it. Or maybe a purple. Okay, but we do have a tree. So I'm going to kind of do kind of these trunks that come up. Okay, and then there's a, be a tree canopy here. All right, it's about finding those darks and uh, lights. So we're gonna bring that nice light green. Push that in there. And then I'm um, trying to create another ledge here. Seems to be two levels to this shoreline here. So this doesn't really want to lay, it's just smearing. It's getting hard to, there we go, get some color down. See, like, look, look at that tip, it gets all gumped up. There we go. So I'm not used to that. I'm used to stuff just sitting on top. So that's a little bit of a difference for me there. Is that sometimes I can't get it to sit there and it just wants to smear. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be the shoreline. I'm going to drop a water line here. There's a bunch of rocks here too. I'm going to have to figure out how to get those in. And then we do have um, a tree that just kind of comes out like that. We have these branches, or not branches, these tree trunks in the back you can see. Just kind of 
add a tree there. We're gonna have to add some foliage, different foliage here to mark this tree. But you can see these big tree trunks here in the back. And then they um, kind of a shadow too. Something like that. Okay. More of this. Smash that in there. All right. I'm going to um, bring in some different greens actually. So here is a, uh, a mixed green, it's called a mixed green. Let's see what this looks like. This is bright. That's a really bright one. I like it though. We'll put that in there. Maybe there's a strong light that, you know, a plant is reflecting there off that right there. The light hits that. accentuate the light a little bit more, doesn't it? Kind of pops that light a little bit more. Okay. Now, I got a bunch of rocks and stuff. Um, is that the light? No, that's the gray titanium. Here's the light gray. All right. So let's peel some paper. This one. There we go. Some of these are hard to remove. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then right here, this area has got just tons of rock, boulder, little rocks, gravel. Right in this area, right along this bank. So we're just gonna take a couple of sticks here and try to create that look. I don't really have a lot of different grays, so I'm kind of using this one gray and some browns to kind of try to achieve this. Here's a big rock right there. A big rock right there. Okay, these will eventually be all rocks. Brighter mark actually. Pull that forward. Some of these can be lighter. and gravel. Okay, some of them come further out. Oh, there's a little rock there, a little rock here. It's kind of random. And try to use a couple different sticks to do it with so it's not all the same. All right, it'll make more sense here as we get the water going and drop some shadows, which will help. Can you kind of see a rocky shore developing here? 
I'm thinking I have to bring I'm going to bring that black out and uh, see if I can work a black in here. Some of these shadows here, I might have to do that. Okay. All right, there's some more rocks, but that's a good start. Now, the water. Um, there's that um, Prussian blue. Maybe I can use that as a dark. Certain spots here, you kind of want to add a dark. Dab a dark, dab a dark, dab a dark. All right, now I'm going to bring some green to this water. We're going to go with this darker green first. It's that deep grandmother green. Deep grandmother green. I just like the name of it. Okay, just a little green, rub that in there. reflection of trees that we need to kind of think about so I just find that tree see this one right here so the reflection will be somewhere around right here so just kind of match that up loosely it doesn't have to be exact and then just kind of match those there's a dark green we're going to change the color of this water here, but I just want to get a dark into it. And then over here, put some brown into it. There's a nice deep water color. reflection of the mountain in there. I'm just using a brown on top of all that. And then um, taking a brown over this green I just put down. Okay, because I, I want a nice deep watercolor. Too light. This is too light of a blue. So brown and blue. The water is starting to shape up. I haven't even blended, but you can tell just the starting to shape up. Okay, it's really dark in here, so we're going to put a lot of brown on this side. And 
take that deep green, go over top of that, grandmother green. Grandmother green. Okay, and then why not? Let's throw in some other greens in here. Just to change up some of these reflections. Kind of that same olive green up here. I'm kind of bringing into the water down in here. Throwing it in certain spots. Okay. And um, we'll do the lighter green also, but I'm going to do that a little later. I want to blend this out first. Let's, let's blend that out. Um, find a good stump here, a nice dark one. Maybe this one. Just nice and flat. colors in together right there. It looks pretty good. Just trying to make it look like water. Just try to do that, you know, like these horizontal, using that tip of that stump to really get those colors to kind of just bleed in and blend into each other. Kind of make it look like water. All right now, I messed up some of my rocks here, so I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. kind of messing up my rocks but that's okay we'll just kind of redraw those in Shaky, shaky. to redo that because it totally got blended out 
some of the starting a chainsaw. fix the blue up okay now let's get some of that sky blue in there. Or the gray blue is what they call it. To me it's sky blue. We'll put that in there because that's the sky. We need that in the water. It's very important. And with this blue you can kind of cut in and try to really bring a little bit more detail to the reflection to the water like that. into that color, that dark color. Gonna play around with the sky reflections. Let's see, it comes over here, and then we gotta reflect some of that. Um, remember, this mountain here has got to be reflected. So I'm gonna kind of just. Bring in some of that um, ultraviolet, the, the violet here that I had up here, kind of bring that down. Okay. And smear that around. And I'm going to go a step deeper on that blue water and go a little bit deeper. Reflection than the blue in the water reflected is usually a deep, deeper blue than the sky, actually. There's a little bit of a difference in value of that blue. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper there. Okay. As long as you just lay it flat, it really makes the big difference. Okay. And then um, over here. I'm kind of looking at my colors, trying to find something. I'm going to put some brown into these. some maybe some underwater rocks or uh, something like that you can kind of see the bottom of the 
of this little river it kind of cuts through so you can just take a like a brown or something kind of put it in there and kind of smear it try to help indicate well, maybe some underwater rocks also to pretend over here do a little bit of that dark and a light so here is that light gray for my rocks there's gonna be a rock right there a bigger rock and one's kind of right there and there's one right here there's one there and there's a couple here that just kind of stick out there's a nice one right there and there one there and it's a little bit different color okay so I'm just kind of pushing in just random little areas Some rocks, boulders kind of sticking out of the water. All right. And then we're going to drop a shadow on these. So, might use this black or maybe the purpose. Let's try the black. So we have a rock here and we're going to just drop the underneath part just a drop darker and I don't know if I like that black. It's a little strong. Trying to find my, uh, there's my Prussian blue right there at the bottom. Yeah, a little strong on that black, but let's see if we can make it work. that little stump kind of change that a little. I'm going to add a little of this light gray down in here. We'll blend that out a little it's from that mountain up there above us. And that uh, lavender, or that violet on top. Okay.
Notice everything's a horizontal finish with this in the water. It's all very, just drag that out. Okay, I'm going to take this blue again and just very light go over the top with just some texture, some blue. Kind of define the water's edge a little bit. Okay, just get a little, a little bit of help there. Right, you can kind of see the underwater rocks here. Kinda, you just kind of take a color, like it's brown is a good one, and just kind of drop it there and you kind of smush it. And then you can even add up um, a shadow underneath those to really Kind of bring those. Maybe that black would be a little better for that. Some of these get a little darker. Okay, just a really all right. Now we're gonna add some more trees. I'm gonna come back to the water. I want to add a tree right here because it's gonna have an effect. So I got a lot of stuff up here. Let me um move some stuff around I'm trying to I'm starting to lose where things are move some of these down this green here this surface is really slick it's difficult to get here, but I'm going to bring some of this reflection of this green into the water. Okay, just going across there. should take a break for the rest of the day. My shoulder is starting to get out. Okay, let's come up here with this lighter green and put a little bit of foliage, different kind of tree right here. It's really bright, so we're going to cut that back with uh, this one. hard to even get the color to sit. It's got a really there we go. I'm trying to bring a tree in front. Just trying different greens because these greens are hard to stack on each other. Here we go. There's a different style of green. It's a cooler green. It's different though. But it does sit better on top, which is fine by me. And we can come back with this and kind of mix it in a little bit. Because it's getting really thick here. I'm not able to really pop that. So I'm going to have to lighten this field. Here we go. A little bit different there. Okay. Right. 
right. So different greens, just kind of smush them all in there. Put a dark one in there every once in a while. To there we go. There's some kind of bush thing going on here. <laughs> it's the best thing I can do for that. All right, let's go over here. It's really bright. Let's go with this one. I like this color. The problem with this green is it doesn't want to sit on top. There's another kind of tree here I'm trying to draw into. So I'm gonna have to do it like this kind of motion maybe. To bring it in front. in big chunks of color like that. Okay, let's see if that'll work better. I have to we wipe this stick to keep it going. So, you know, different foliage, different green setting up. Some of these, like this one's going to be brighter, so I'm putting in more pressure because it's coming towards us more. And then, you know, the ones that could sit back, I kind of, different application, push it back. And you use your finger, you can really push that color back. It's the same color, this and this the same color, but this one, I'm not smudging with my finger if I do the same color over here and then smash it with my finger it changes the value okay and uh, I'm going to bring a little bit of highlight to these trees I'm just going to drop just a little bit more color actually I want more of a yellowy color What is this? Gold. It says gold. Oh, it is gold. <laughs> wow, neat. I can actually see the little gold. Oh, but it's actually really working as a good highlight for these trees. A little bit of warmth in there. highlight but it comes out sticks out So I like that sun. It's kind of a golden. It's really a pretty gold color. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. 
That's kind of cool. I have to admit, I like that. It's a nice ochre color. It uh, sits well in those blues. Okay. So different kinds of greens and highlights here and there. And then try to same in the reflection of the water, but just make it horizontal and smear it. And this tree will be reflected in the water. All right, I feel I need a break and I'm gonna clean my hands and um, probably stop for the day actually and we'll come back tomorrow and see if we can finish it up. But we're real close. We just have to put a tree here, maybe a little shoreline, near shoreline with some more closer rocks right in this section right there. Maybe finalize the water a little bit more and um, probably done, but it's looking pretty good. I mean, pretty much the sky and most of that mountain's done. Um, you know, I can kind of touch up little spots here and there, but I like the way it looks. It definitely sits back enough, right? Side by side, you can kind of see those rocks. I'm starting to get in. Okay. All right, I need a break.